Do you want to create scenes with procedural parameters? I do too. That's why I made this render to show some procedural systems inside of Blender. The stacks of paper you see here are layered procedurally, so I can select the height and the rotational variation for each page. This is pretty simple stuff for a lot of geometry node artists, but it's one of the first times that I've used geometry nodes. I've also never seen a tutorial on it, so I just transferred some of my shader knowledge over to this. However, I was able to make a simple procedural mask with the vector math that I learned in shading, which was fun to apply since you can see the same logic in both shading and geometry nodes. And after adding this system, I wanted to add displacement, but I did it in the shaders instead of geometry nodes, since I'm way more familiar with it. But before we dive into the small details that made it realistic, let's take a look at how I assigned each paper its page. As you might have guessed, the first step is to steal some screenshots of random papers on the internet, unless you build all of them procedurally by hand. But I'm way too tired for that, so I just googled for random statistical articles and made a folder for them. I brought them all into the shader editor and faced an interesting problem. We somehow need to scatter these images randomly for each page. Well, the solution to this problem is right here. Too far. There we go. This small node lets us scatter the pages. That's because the object info random output, which is at the bottom, spits out a random value for each separate object using the material. And if we apply this to our stack of papers, we get a useful selection system. Here's the idea. We take our random output and multiply it by however many images we have. In my case, that's seven. Then we floor it to snap it to whole values. Then we can divide by the number of images we have. So if I divide by seven, we're constraining this to a range of zero and one with seven dots in between. The rest is pretty simple. We plug our papers into the base color of our shader and we can control it with a map range node. For an extra touch, I lowered the roughness on the inkiest parts of the text. This is probably completely unrealistic, but it makes for a pretty image. And like I mentioned earlier, I want to add some displacement to these pages to make them look like they're being pulled down by their own weight. So I made this shader mask to select the corners of each page and squared it to smooth out the gradient. And I used this to influence vector displacement on the z-axis. Now all of the pages droop down a little near the edges, which is super subtle. I also added some general noise to distort the pages a little, since I don't expect them to be completely flat. And for the finest details, I used a high frequency bump map with a low distance. Now that the papers themselves are mostly finished, I wanted to add one more detail. Mostly as geometry node practice, I wanted to make a stacking system that worked with the paperclip, which could spawn in as many paperclips as you want and translate them randomly. I can also control the radius at which they spawn in. This is done by instancing this paperclip image, which I bent to look more realistic. They don't look super realistic up close, but it adds a nice touch from far away. It would be really fun to add imperfections like stains to these pages, and you guys probably have some ideas on ways to improve the shader so I'm making it completely free to download. You can get it using the link in the description and select the price you want, which can be free. If this sounds fun to you, you could check out another free Gumroad product I have, which is a collection of five large shaders for you to mess around with. But this was a cool project. Good luck with the files. Bye everyone.